Hello guys, you're welcome back to the channel. My name is Maxwell from Max Multimedia. Alright, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to design this church flyer in Photoshop. Now, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you're old here, thank you for showing up. And now guys, without wasting much time, let's roll. Alright guys, you are welcome back to Photoshop. I am using 2020 version of Photoshop. Alright, so over here, the first thing I want to do is to just um, head over to my Create New here and click on it. And then I'll be working with A4 flyer size. So look for A4 flyer size. If you can't find it here um, on your recent um, uh, sizes preset, just come to Print, click on Print, and you'll definitely find it um, over here in Print. Okay, so I have it here. I'll just come and click on create now mind you i am not printing this so every other thing i left the color mode to rgb so if you are printing it make sure you change your color mode from rgb to cmyk all right so let me show you over here i've got this resources that i'm going to be using for this particular design link is in the description just get it and you can also follow along all right so first thing first is i'm going to drag this particular background here to photoshop like this and then i'm going to right click and then flip it horizontally like this i want the fiery side this kind of fiery side to come to this side so i'll just open it up to fill the whole canvas like this and i think that is fine All right so i'll just click here to um release it now i would like to blur it out a bit so i'll come to my filter here come to blur and then gaussian blur sorry blur then gaussian blur and then i'm going to um, all right, so the radius here is 35. I think I'm okay with what I'm seeing already So I'll just come and click on okay here and that should be fine. So I'm going back to my resources here I have this um, Jesus's tomb picture here So I'll just drag this like this to Photoshop this way and I'm going to place it here like this and um, That should be fine. Okay, let me Resize it a bit like this and I think this is fine now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make copies okay so control J to make a copy of it now what I want to do is I want to off the top layer here okay it's two this is one and then the second one so let me have you seen it's two all right so I want to off come and off the top layer over here and then come and select the down layer then come here to add a layer mask to it and then come to your brush and then you just want to fade away um all right making sure that your foreground color should be um black not white so i'm coming to click here to just switch the colors to black all right so i'll just fade like this okay I'll just fade like this just fade just fade fade just fade okay just take your time and fade something like this i think this is okay now what i want to do is i want to change the blend mode come over here to this normal change the blend mode to soft light and then you can bring this one here to this side like this okay so i think this is okay all right so the next thing i want to do is to on the top one and then i'm going to add a layer mask to select make sure you select the layer and then come and add a layer mask to that one select your brush and then go ahead and fade the cross side okay leaving only this kind of stone the stone that has the um, cloth on it leaving only that one okay so just fade it i think that is okay for now so i'm going back to change my color mode to soft light again and i'm going to place this one also here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the two layers okay select this one hold down control or shift to select the one under then come to your opacity here take it down to 50 to just blend it inside the background like that okay so the reason why i have to make it two is i need this one to be separate and also this one to be separate okay so all right guys so that is it for now now i'm going to select all of these layers i have here and then press ctrl g to group them i'm going to name this one to um background okay so background all right that is fine so i'm going back to my resources here i have got this test here mind you this tutorial i always do these tutorials to make sure that i come up every week with something it's not like this particular design is not a valid program design most of the times um because um 
I, I always want to come up with something for you guys so I do not need to have to wait till I have something to work on before I use that as a tutorial all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the church name here and then control C to copy it from here I'm going back to Photoshop I'm going to get my test tool and then I'm just going to activate my test tool here and then I'm going to um, paste what I copied all right so I'm going to change the color from this first of all let me drop the, the test tool and then I'm coming to change the color to white first and then I'm coming to change the, um, the font to um, area normal area font okay so what I'm going to do sorry um, all right so my this thing my how do you call it now my test has has entered the um, the background uh, uh, group the folder so I'm going to drag it out of it I do not want it to be inside this folder okay so just all right so now yeah that's it it's now on top so what I'm coming to do is I will I need the the this Jesus life ministry um, to be separate and then the resurrection power also to be separate so I'll just create a copy so you can press ctrl j or hold down your alternate and then you you click and drag so what i'm going to do is over here i'm going to clean the resurrection power from this one leaving me only with the jesus life ministry and then the down one too i'm coming to clean away the jesus life ministry leaving me with the resurrection power temple all right so over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open this one um some more okay so let me see i think 25 will be okay for the font size and then i will also leave it here and then over here i'm coming to resize this one down to all right so i think um that is 13 is fine then i'll open it up some more like this and then i'm coming to place it here all right so that should be fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the church logo over here okay so um yeah over here is the church logo and i'll just place it right here all right so what i want to do is because the church logo look at it it's almost lost in the background you can't really see it so i'm going to um come down to my rounded rectangle tool here i'll just create something like this and then i'm going to drop my uh, rectangle tool then I'm going to change the color to white like this okay and then I would like to round the edge some more so come to properties your properties wherever you find your properties with that well, just I have my own here okay so this is a test property so I have this property come and click on this is your property if you can't find your property here yeah come to windows and then over here you you find it here
still leave the font to area then I'll change it from bold to say normal all right so present and then I'll leave the present here and then I'm going to create a copy of this present okay so just Ctrl J or you hold on your alternate and then you drag it down to create a copy so I'm going back to my test I'm going to copy the team all right so present a night of power and glory so I'm just going to copy the power and glory from here like this I'm coming back to Photoshop and then I am coming to paste it right here all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create copies of this because I'll be separating this so I'll hold down my my alternate and then click and drag and then another copy like this so the first one i'm coming to clean the i'll leave um a night off and then i'll clean everything off it and then second one i'm coming to clean everything off it leaving the power here like this and that should be fine and then the final one i'm coming to clean everything leaving only and glory here all right so i'm coming to change the font from area to let me say poppins poppins and i'm going for bold okay so i'm going to press ctrl t to just open it like this okay all right so the second one the power i'm going for a font called um stretch pro okay stretch pro this is it stretch pro all right so now what i want to do is, if you use this font if you know how to use this font the stretch pro what it does is anytime you repeat any letter twice or like you have a repetition of any letter it will join it together so i'm going to make the p two p's double p so if i tap one p like this it will join it together for me so i have to do it all caps so that is it okay so now i have one p but the second one must also be um in caps okay so say if i i type the second one in small letter you will not give it to me like that but then in all caps you see as i've added another p it has stretched it it has put the two in one so this is what i want okay and then the second one i'm going back to change it to um poppins again and then i'm going in for bold and then i'm going to open this one like this just stretch this one like this to have this here okay so i've got a knight of power and glory right here as my team so i'm just going to go ahead and add some shadow effect to this one so i'll select my a knight of quickly come to my shadow effect here come to click on drop shadow and then i'm going to push this to one side like this so i can see the effect on the tests yeah i think this is um okay let me check the spread all right so i it doesn't have to be too much so i think um this is okay so i'll just come and click on okay and now i would like to copy the shadow effect on this one to the power as well so this is the power layer and then over here is my effect so i will click my i'll hold down my alternate key and then you can click on this effect here and drag it or better still if you see this effect here this fx here hold down your alternate and then click and drag it on top of the power layer to copy the shadow and then i would like to have the same shadow on this one the last test here so i'll do the same thing um here is it i'll copy it here okay and then i think the one here the shadow on this one is too much for me on the uh, the, the glory uh, layer so this is the layer i will double click on the drop shadow um, uh, tool here and then it's bringing me back to this place i would just like to reduce the size and then the distance and then the spread okay to something like this all right i think this is fine for me so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to group all of these and call it the present so from this one to this very present here i'll just select all of it and then ctrl g to call it present all right so that is fine for now all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure you are always building your layers on top so whenever you close one 
um, group try to make sure that you select the top um, um, folder before you add anything so that it will come on top all right so what i'm going to do is i'll go for my rounded rectangle tool again and then i'm coming to create some just rectangle like this okay um okay it's something like this okay i think this is fine and then i'm going to drop my rounded rectangle too so i'm going to create some more copies of this say two more copies to have three so i'm coming to hold my my alt and then i'll drag all right if your own is not copying it by holding alt do not worry just press ctrl j on the keyboard and then you drag it ctrl j will copy it and then you drag it all right so um all right okay so yeah i have been able to all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change all right let me add one more okay so i'll add one more here okay so i'll just bring it back so i'm coming to change the colors okay so um okay um let me see this one okay i'll give this one um, you can give it any color you want okay maybe i'll be giving it this yellow like this and then the second one i'll be giving this one white and then this one i'll be giving this one something like this yeah okay and then the last one i'll be giving it something like let me see something like this all right so that is fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um okay just trying to space it a bit and that should be fine so what i'm going to do is i'm coming to um now I'm going back for my pictures here now I'm um, what I'm coming to do is I'm coming to place my pictures inside this shape so um, I'm coming to click my this particular and uh, I think wait let me see if I can round the edge of this my this thing a bit select all the rectangles the rounded rectangles okay let me change this one to 20 if you select all you have the effect on all of them at the same time okay i think that is okay now i would like to place uh, the first picture in the yellow um shape so come and click on the yellow shape first before you go to your resources to get the picture so i'm going to get the picture of this pasta first here and then i'm going to resize it okay just just resize it oh sorry about that just resize it to what you want okay and then i think this is okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a clipping mask okay so there are two ways the first way is you can right click the image like this and then you come to this place you see create clipping mask and if you click on it it will automatically place it inside what is beneath that particular picture all right or you can just hold down your alternate key and then behave in between the picture and this yellow rounded rectangle in between if you bring the cursor here it will turn like this then you can just click and then it will place the picture inside the background for you all right so that is the two ways you can easily do your uh, clipping mask all right so i'm just going to position my picture properly inside my shape like this and then i'll come and click on the white um, shape head over to my resources here i'm going to take this picture here and then i'm going to do the same thing so i'll be um, clipping all the pictures inside the shapes like i did the first one all right guys so resize it this way and then place it on top and then you can um, check it here first and then you can hold down your alt and then clip it inside the white background so um, 
let me open it up some more like this and bring it down like this i think this is fine all right guys let me fast forward the two um, power clips then i'll catch up with you all right guys so um i am done with the clipping mask okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to group all of this and then all right so before i group them let me just add their names okay so um i will go back to my resources here and then the first name i have here is um this one here just copy it sorry about that copy it come back to photoshop like this i'm coming to select my test tool here and then make sure that um you can click on the picture first then you you now come and select your test tool so that you have the name on top of the, the particular picture you are naming okay so let me just resize this to say 11 and then um i'll give it say black color okay so and then this gap here i'll just clean it i'll give it to zero and then i'll paste the name i copied there so now the name the his title is reverend so i'll give the reverend i'll highlight only the reverend and then give it red color and then that should be fine so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to break all the tests like this and then i'll also break this one like this all right so i'm going to close the gap here let me see then all right I, I think 10 is okay so um i'm just coming to again resize this one down like this and that should be fine then i'll place it right on top of him all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a copy okay i'm going to okay so he's he's a guest okay so let's say he is one of the guests so i'll just write um guest here and then sorry is guests yeah so now what i'm going to do the guest here i'm just going to highlight it and give it a different font okay um black stars okay i think yeah the black stars is okay and i might want to change the color of that one and make it red just to just to bring a difference okay all right so um i will copy this over here okay and then i'm bringing it here all right so um i'm going back to my resources here all right so what is that name now is here Reverend frank we are i'm copying this one and then what i'm going to do is i'm okay i should have just copied the name and leaving the reverend because i have it here but then i'll just highlight only the the, the name here the men's field here tagbo i'll just highlight that one and then i'll paste what i copied there and then i'm coming to clink or just do away with the reverend because i have it here already and then i'll just do it like this and then say the guest let's say he will be the host so instead of the the guest i'll just use the guest to write host and then to leave that to that and that is fine so the next thing i want to do is to make a copy of this again say this one to this place all right so what is happening here is the test is behind the picture so come to drag it on top of the picture like this okay so over here what's going to happen is the black is not really showing okay so i'm going to change the color of this particular one to all right first of all let me highlight the name and then let me come back so, sorry to my test here he is um okay reverend nana asiyama so i'll just asiyama i'll just copy this one then i'm coming back to paste it here like this and then i will also go ahead and then space this one like this so then i'm going to change this color to white because the black is i think the black is not really visible yeah okay um yeah that is fine and then i'm just going to go ahead and create a copy and then bring it here and the same thing is happening here the test is behind so i'll just grab the test and bring it on top of the picture like this and then i'm going to have this okay so um his name is also here reverend marty so i have 
I'll just copy the Robert Marty and then Press Ctrl C to copy, and then uh, coming back here, I'm just coming to highlight the name in between the. Alright, so I will also space this one to have this. Alright, so looking at it, you can see. But then, I would like to change the title, Reverend. Here, let me give it because the color is almost like the background, so it's not visible. Alright, so I'll come and change the guest also to black. Okay, everything has to be very visible. Alright, so okay, so and then looking at this yellow, I'm coming. Let me see something here. Yeah? Let me give this one white and see something. And also the Reverend White. Okay. okay so um yeah this is not bad now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select i will come back to the very first yellow rounded rectangle click on this particular one then scroll up 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 here to the last name here reverend robert mate and then hold down your shift key then click on this one as well it will select from the red uh, the rounded rectangle tool to this one then ctrl g on the keyboard to group it i'm going to name this to pictures all right so we have the pictures everything if i up this i have my picture gone all right so that is it so i'll just position it properly here okay just bring it here and i think that it's not bad at all this is okay now the next thing i want to do is um okay so if you look at the, the gap it's like Um, that's fine that's fine all right so the next thing I want to do is let me close the picture um, folder all right so the next thing I'm going to do from here is I'm going back to my resources let me see what I have here okay so all right I have this uh, shadow uh, effect here so I'm going to drag it to Photoshop like this and what I'm going to do is I'll just let me see something here coming to bring it under the picture uh, folder here okay I want it to, to be under it and then I'll open it again okay just open it and then you place it under it to make it look like it's 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 some kind of this is okay now all right guys so the next thing I'm going to be doing from here is to um, I don't know if I should take this shadow inside my background a picture background which I think would be necessary so I'll just open the picture um, how do you call it the picture folder and then I'll bring this one here inside the folder you just first of all bring it on top here and then you can bring it down back so let me off and close this and see if it is inside all right i've gone inside okay so i think that is okay now the next thing i want to do is to um write my team so i'll go for make sure you you your picture folder is selected before you do this so come for your test tool then i'm going to write team sorry i'm going to write team all right so um going to actually change the font to something different let's see okay um, let's go with this particular font here you can go with any font you like but I think I'll be going with this the color let me give it maybe white to do or red black let's see white the okay, red will do because let me just transform it like this 
then I'll place it here. Alright, so the next thing is I'm going back to my test tool again. Then um, I'm going to change this to. I am, let's see, okay, I have this font here, Sinza. Let me use that one. So I'll go back to my test here. Then I'm going to copy the team. So the team is that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Ephesians 3. Then, so I'm just going to copy um, this from. I will leave out the scripture first. And then I'm coming to paste it here. And then I'll give it white color. And then I'm going to resize it I'm going to open it let me drop my test tool then I'll drag it here so I'll just come over to this um, gap this space in here and then I'll just increase it to say something like this it's fine for now all right so I'll give it I'll bold it and then I'm just going to open it up some more again and then leave that to that I think this is okay already let me let me check here if I have bold. All right. Okay. So and then over here, let me give it like ten. And, all right. So this is this is okay. This is fine. So I'm going to just bring this one up like this, and then I'm going to select these two, the team, and then everything here. These two things here, and then group them. Then I'm going to name them to team. Alright, so that is fine. So finally, 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 um, I think I need. I'm going to push everything up a bit. Okay, I'm going to just push everything up um, from the present to this very one. So I'll select all of this. Um, I'll select the team. I'll select the pictures. Hold down Control and click on the picture. Hold down Control still and click on the present leaving on the church name and the background that you can just push this this is why it is good to group things okay it helps you move things around easily all right I think this place is okay now the next thing I want to do is I'm um, come and select your your team folder and then we want to create some kind of thorn paper effect down here all right so what you are going to do is you are going to click here to select your lasso to this lasso to here and then let me open it Okay, we are just coming to draw some kind of ton paper effect okay so just see how I am doing it just something like this zigzag like it's not going to be straight just doing it like this and then bring it like this all right so in place of this if you have a ton paper you can use it once you draw this you have this uh, selection now what you want to do after you have done this is you can drop your tool now then come to your uh, adjustments layer here and then come and click on solid color all right so you want to give it white then guys this is what we have over here okay so um but then white let me not give it or let me give it off white something like this okay because i'll be making a copy so just give it this kind of white not ash not shouldn't be all right something like off white gray i don't know guys <laughs> all right so i'm going to make a copy control j to make a copy now the top one here we are going to come and click on this uh, layer here layer thumbnail here double click it and then you want to take the color up like this okay um Okay, let me let me see and then once after you are done with that just bring it down so you can see if you are bringing it down you can see this right you can see that it's creating some effect and then we'll do one more ctrl j again and then the top one this one will give it plain white so double click it again then you give it a very white and then you can bring the white to down a bit to just have this kind of effect like this so guys um so i'm going to select all of these if you like you can just go with two let me up the top one and see if you like you can just go with two two like this will be fine okay so no really need i'll delete the top one i think the two is okay so come to select the two if you like you can just match them you can select all of these right click and then you can come and click on merge layers to make it one and then you can name it to turn um paper effects all right or anything 
so i'll just um sorry i'll just leave that to that for now or better still i'm dragging it inside the background okay so drag it inside the background folder like this to have it as part of the background all right so the next thing i want to do from here is um come and click on this test here sorry we forget to bring the scripture all right so come and click here make sure you click on the team here so that what you are doing will come inside the team folder then you come and select your test tool here and then you activate your test tool you are going to change the font to something different so let me go with say poppins and then i will go with semi bold from here or medium semi bold is fine and then i'm going back to my test here. i'm going to copy the the, the the scripture okay so i'm just going to paste it here right like this then i'm going to uh, let me untick this then i'm going to just resize it down like this let me drop my test tool and then place it here probably let me give it red color all right so yeah this is okay but then what i'm going to do is i need to make sure that all of this the team and then this one and then the scripture is aligned so select this one hold on control select this one and select this one again and then come over here and then you want to come and click on this particular center alignment here and then it will align everything for you like this and then that should be fine so you can now close your your folder all right then if you like you can take it up like this and i think guys this is fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going back to sorry my resources so i've got um, this call icons here you can use anyone from this you can use this you can use um, any of these things so i'm going to the calendar i have this and then i match this one which i've been using so i'm going to use this on the calendar and the time i'm going to drag this one to um photoshop like this i'm going to bring it right here I'm going to resize it down like this and i think this should be fine so yeah now i will place it here now i'm going to write the date and the time so activate your test tool then you will want to change the color from whatever color to black and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change i'm going to use a font called typo longest demo is that it so typo it's that long font yeah typo longest demo um let me see bold um yeah so i'm going to write december but the december i will shorten it okay so i'll just write dec like this okay so i should write it in all caps okay so dec sorry and this should be fine and then i'll bold in it here again so what i'm going to do is i'll drop my test too and then i'll open this one like this okay so i'm going to place it here all right so um again i'm going for my let me just create a copy of this one okay and then i'm going to change the font to say rally way or poppins or any font you can go with so let me just go with or even aria aria is um a font that everybody I believe has because it's a default font so i'll just resize it and then i'm going to write okay what date now like i said this i'm just so you will have to put your current date i'm just going to write 25th because like i said this is not um a valid design okay i'm just designing this to just give you guys a concept of how to achieve something like this so i have 25th i have december 25th so i'll just add the year 2023 so 2023 here and guys i think this is nice already so the next thing i'm going to do is to um is the date and the time that is moving together so i'll create a copy of this to this place and then i'm going to just use this to write my date uh, sorry my time so let's say it's going to be an evening program so let's say 6 6 30 um pm right pm and then you space down and then you write um sharp 
or uh, yeah or uh, yeah that is it just to have the space here filled so i'm going to close this a bit like this and then i'm going to bring it down here like this okay so that should be fine all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going back to my resources here again i have this my location icon here I'm just going to bring this to this place and then i'm going to resize it okay this i would like to take the white um, um shape the white background around it so make sure you come and click and then you rasterize the layer and then you come to your um eraser tool here click and come to select your magic eraser tool then you can uh, let me give my tolerance here 100 if the color is just one color that you want to take out you can give it 100 all right so i'll just click here to just remove all the white from it and that should be fine so i'll bring it here Control t to transform it okay just transform it this way and um, i think this is let me open it up some more like this all right so i think this is okay so i'll just bring it here like this and then i'm coming to create a copy from this test here to this place and i'm going to use this to write so you can put in your your accurate um location so i'm just going to write um all right so say i'm a summer i'm a summer obey all right so something like this okay all right so um i've got this i'll just open this up again some more like this to just have this and that should be fine so what you are going to do is i'm going back to my resources i have my so like i said you can use any of this call icon but i will just be using this particular one over here and then i'll just this is very big so i'll just resize it down like this just resize it down like this okay so yeah i think this is okay so what i'm going to do is i'll just steal from this test again and then i'll use this to write the number so like i said please once again this is not an a, um, a valid program flyer so i'm just going to add my number on which you can contact me on whatsapp or yeah on whatsapp or probably normal call if that is not going to cost you um too much maybe you calling from another country all right so i'm um, zero five nine all right let me let me add my country code so plus two three three and then all right let me put this one into bracket all right so i'll just go ahead zero five nine seven nine seven one three five eight or um zero five three four one one five two five three okay so i'm just going to place this also here like this and hey guys okay so let me let me steal the i love to just steal okay from my from my test i'll just copy this and then i'm going to just paste it here okay all right so guys we are sorry we are done like this As you can see it this is this is this is that is all about this particular design i'm trying to see i wouldn't want to add any light flare because the background is already looking um okay it's already looking good so um guys this is let me just group the final 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 things i put in here so i'll just name them to say info or oh, contact let me do it contact info all right so that should be fine so guys this is how so uh, let me just color my just color my my layers yeah so and then violet all right guys so um 
I'm trying to see if there is anything I can add again design just have to be very simple and nice so guys so what I'll do is I'll press ctrl s to save my work and guys this is how far we have come into this design so guys right so like I said if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are all here thank you for showing up guys now this is the end of today's tutorial uh, <laughs> like you know this is going to come back again in a color draw version uh, guys <laughs> all right i love you guys i'll see you in my next tutorial sign out